hello and welcome to my channel okay so today i would like to show you guys uh, on my progress for the web shooter so for the web shooter i actually tried to uh, create for my first prototype of the web shooter so first things first i would like to note that uh, this design is actually not from me but uh, it's actually from the one of the my favorite YouTube channel called Hero Tech. So I would like to shout out to him and to his YouTube channel. So I I want you guys to go uh, go ahead to his channel and subscribe and like his videos. He do, he did an amazing job on the web shooter, bro. I can I can even do what he do. So okay, back to business. Uh, so this original design uh, is actually from Hero Tech, and what I got here is actually a part so it's actually uh, his parts both uh, both of these are uh, the same parts but on this section here is the original scale uh, of the hero tech web shooter uh, but for this section here is actually the uh, design which I rescale it to 1.2 from the original scale so I have my reasons why because I have this back at home. I have this like box of springs that I would like to latch it on uh, on the web shooter uh, for the locking mechanism. And turns out that when I'm trying to use the original scale, it could not fit in, man. So I have to like and try to modify it a little bit. Uh, so I try to rescale it to 1.2 from the original design, and ho hopefully it works. I hope it works. Because right now I'm actually not in my house. I'm actually at my parents' house, and uh, so hopefully later on I got home uh, sooner and try to finish this project uh, a little bit earlier than usual. So, uh, for this part here, right here, so I actually try to put it put it all together. So this actually the the original scale, the original design from Hero Tech. So this this one is the original design by Hero Tech 2 but I rescale it to uh, to like a bit larger like 1.2 scale from the original design. So if any so if you can see the between comparison between these two it's not that it's not that by far too different but if you like uh, to look at the top view see here so it's not that critical but um, from this perspective like on this software you can see and uh, this there's almost like um, almost no no exact difference at all because I only changed the scale but but not the design and on the bottom left here is actually my custom made cat, uh, cartridge because I found I found out that the original cartridge designed by Hero Tech uh, I don't want to like uh, insult his projects uh, at all but for me I, I want to like to make something a bit different uh, like uh, fitting to my design uh, at least I have my original a little bit in this project but for now uh, I have my reasons why I took his design and I didn't mean like literally took it I just like I try uh, I try a lot of combinations a lot of uh, shapes uh, a lot of angles but turns out it's a bit difficult when you try to make it uh, similar uh, to the original design on the spider-man web shooter uh, ps4 so that's why I try to look at the internet and turns out the uh, the one provided by Hero Tech is almost almost the same as the PS4 uh, Spider-Man PS4 web shooter. So that's why uh, he also provide uh, STL uh, STL files. So I would like to thank you bro like I'm being grateful enough and that's why I subscribe to you. I like all your videos about Spider-Man. So that's and um, that's all about the design. So let's go to the 3D printed part. So here we have the web shooters I 3D printed. So the one, uh, the ones on the right, is the uh, original 
original scales and original design from Herotech and the ones on the left uh, is the original design also from Herotech but I enlarge it uh, to 1.2 scale uh, from the original design so uh, the reasons why I printed uh, as I mentioned before in my uh, previous session of the video so yeah there's actually a bit different here in terms of sizes and it's cartridge yeah cut cartridge uh, okay so perhaps on the projectile it's a bit bigger than yeah So I have my reasons why I enlarge it to 1.2 scale from the original design and I mentioned it before in my uh, video. So if you want to see the locking mechanism, yeah here it is. So as you can see here, these are the locking mechanism for the projectile. So if we slot the projectile in the barrel, it will slide in and it will latch it up to this locking mechanism here so but if I try to apply it on the original scale which is the original design of the hero tech uh, I could not uh, fit the spring because uh, the spring is much bigger than the locking mechanism so it's pretty hard so I just rescale and that's one of the reasons why I rescale it a bit larger so I will send a, a couple of pictures uh, on the on how I put it on my wrist based on the size comparison. So I will put a picture uh, with the first. I would like to put a picture with the original scale. And the 1.2 scale. So I guess that's all for my progress of the web shooter project. So hopefully uh, it will turn out nice. And I have I have to say I have a couple of plans on the uh, projectile itself. So first I would like to test uh, based on the original design and function uh, from the Hero Tech uh, video, which he used um, new Daimi magnet. And if it turns out well, then I would like to up my game a little bit. So maybe add a couple of bit variations of the projectiles, make it a bit more interesting and uh, similar to the concept design uh, in the game itself, Spider-Man PS4. Yeah. So I guess that's all for the progress. So if you enjoyed the video, do leave a like and subscribe for more. So thank you. That's all for now. Goodbye.